Hey everyone, Librarian Jennifer back with another episode of Steam at Home. Today we are going to be making bottle rockets. So if you have the space to launch a rocket pretty high up in the sky outside, stick around and I will show you exactly what to do. So first thing you're going to need is a two liter bottle and you need a cork that's going to fit snugly inside the end of that. Um, mine doesn't fit like it's not super hard to get out, but you can see it does fit in there. I did test it with some water to make sure it doesn't leak. You'll need three pencils. Uh, we're going to tape these on the ends to make legs. Okay, so I've got my pencil legs taped on. You can see they're not super straight. You just want to make sure that it stands up really well because you want it to not fall over. So next thing we're going to do is make our packet of fuel. So I have a small paper towel. I'm going to cut that in half. And now I'm going to put in a good amount of baking soda, just regular old baking soda. You want to make sure you have, you know, quite a bit because that's what's going to make our rocket explode. And we're going to fold it up. This just is going to help because we're going to fill the bottle with um, vinegar. And so that's what's going to fuel our rocket, but we don't want it to react immediately because we need enough time to put the cork in and then flip it back over and then also get away because it's going to explode. Our next bit, you want to go outside and scout a place to launch your rocket. It needs to be flat and somewhere it's not going to hurt anyone. So a uh, sidewalk is good or if you can put down a piece of wood in your grass, uh, you don't want to be under any trees, don't be under any power lines, be away from any structures if you can. So let's go see if we can do that. Okay, I've got my bottle rocket. I filled it about a third of the way up with regular vinegar. What I'm going to do is drop in my packet that we made before with the baking soda. I'm going to stick my cork in, flip it over, and we're going to let it fly. So here we go. did not work because my cork even though I tested it with water first fell right through and then everything just spilled out on my shoes so we're gonna try it again I'm pretty much out of vinegar at this point so this is our last shot but sometimes things just don't work in steam and maybe you can get it to work better at your house so we're gonna see one more time to try and keep it my mistake from happening again I've put some pins in my cork so you can see Maybe that'll keep it from falling through and to keep it from falling out, I've put a little bit of duct tape that I'm going to try to flap over the end. So let's see if I can do this. So you couldn't tell, it jumped about probably six inches, but I didn't get it flipped over fast enough, probably because maybe I should have put on an extra leg. So see if you guys can make those modifications at home and let me know how they go. Uh, until next time, this is Librarian Jennifer signing off. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are on Facebook, share our video and leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys later.